Hello my fellow Aur, this is your Aura Sly here, and welcome back to the Aura Division, a wizarding community of lore keepers, artifact discoveries, and dangerous curiosity. Are you just now apparating to this channel? Quit being a muggle and subscribe down below and stupefy the bell notification button to alert the ministry you want more content. And in this video, I'm going to analyze the Hufflepuff common room from Hogwarts Legacy. The open world Wizarding World RPG that will be released on February the 10th, 2023. And if you're a Hufflepuff, you gotta drop the like and share it with your other Puff friends. But enough chatter, now it's time to analyze the Hufflepuff common room in detail. The scene opens with the portrait of Helga Hufflepuff herself above the fireplace, just like it's written in the book. You can also see that she is holding the Hufflepuff cup that would later become one of the Horcruxes made by Voldemort. Another cool detail on the fireplace is a portrayal of many carved dancing badgers, all in different positions. The badger is the Hufflepuff house mascot, if you don't know. Another cool detail about the Hufflepuff common room is that it is completely filled with different types of plants everywhere. It is written that there are many different species of plants all over the Hufflepuff common room. But some really cool detail is that the pots are shaped like cauldrons. Now this is really cool because this is a very important characteristic of the house founder, Helga Hufflepuff. Helga was extremely interested in cooking and culinary spells. Little curiosity nugget here is that Helga Hufflepuff was responsible for creating all of the recipes that are used in Hogwarts up to this day. And the cauldron is also a cooking tool, so much so that Helga wanted to make her artifact a cauldron initially. But due to the cauldron's size, she eventually decided on a cup. Now this is a super cool lore detail and I nod Avalanche Studios for implementing it. In the scene, we truly see the crazy amount of plants in this room. On the notice board, it is possible to spot the Chudley Candace poster again, as we can see it in every single common room notice board. Another cool detail is that they've added a bunch of watering cans that are scattered all over the common room to make sure the plants stay in good shape. Really cool detail added to strengthen the love for nature in the room. This next detail is just absolutely amazing. When you look at the banisters, you can spot that they are shaped like leaves. Also, when you look above the ceiling, you'll be able to see the small windows. They are very high in the common room because the Hufflepuff common room is underground. And if you were to look outside of these windows, you would be able to see grass and rocks from the surface outside. Now, if you are a fan of the Lord of the Rings like myself, you can also see that the doors and overall theme of the room reminds us of the Hobbit-like halls. And it just makes you feel like you're right at home in this warm and cozy place. The Hufflepuff common room, like a Hobbit hole, is very comfortable and warm. You can see this cubby here with some pillows for you to nap and study on. In the corner, you can also spot one of the house chests that I believe you can use to store your items during the game. You can also spot a wizarding chest table that we have recently learned is not playable in the game. In the scene, the student avatar is running in a corridor going to the Hufflepuff common room. Like I mentioned in my Hogwarts Legacy location video, you can see a portrait of a basket of fruits which is the entrance to the kitchens. And it makes sense because the Hufflepuff common room is said to be very close to the kitchens. And to enter the kitchens, you have to tickle the pears in the basket. A super cool and loyal detail that tells us we are indeed approaching the Hufflepuff common room. You can also see statues of badgers adorning the brazier columns on our way to the common room. The student avatar also passes by a bunch of portraits displaying images of fruits and food, and some wizard with a cooking book of sorts. And then we just find ourselves in the entrance of the common room, that is one of the barrels found in the area. And according to the books, in order to enter the Hufflepuff common room, you have to find the right barrel between a bunch of barrels piled up together. Then we have to knock the rhythm that sounds like the name of the house founder herself, Helga Hufflepuff. Like this. Helga Hufflepuff. And I hope that this happens at least the first time we enter it, and I think it will according to the Autodesk presentation when we see the avatar approaching and knocking on the barrel. 
Now, on the books, the students use a slide to go down to the common room after they enter it. But unfortunately, this super cool detail was not added in this particular common room. As we see here, that after you enter the room, there is a set of stairs that leads to this major circular room. In the scene, we see the fat friar, the house's ghost, and in this other corner, we can see more portraits, and this one called my attention. It is quite large, and it looks to be the centerpiece of this wall. The wizard looks very aristocratic and elegant, and I wonder if this is the famous Hufflepuff alum and old minister of magic, Eldritch Diggory. Here we can clearly see one of the flu powder network access points, where you can use to transport yourself to various locations across the map, and you can activate it by just walking past it. On this wall, we see a Quidditch portrait, and below it, we see an item that seems to be exclusive to the Hufflepuff common room, this weight scale. We know it can be used as a tool to measure up ingredients in cooking and in potions, but the scale also represents the symbol of justice, and we know that one of the main characteristics found in a Hufflepuff student is that of justice. Lastly, more Quidditch portrait with Hufflepuff students portrayed who were probably famous alumni. Now in the circular room, we'll see that there are a bunch of doors on the first floor and on the second floor. It has been revealed that the bottom dorms are for the wizards and the top ones are for the witches, as we see our avatar walking out of this room at the lowest level. The one thing that I wasn't able to identify were the numbers that represent the student's ears on these doors. Regardless of what house you end up choosing, you're in for a treat no matter what. Up next, I'll be analyzing the Ravenclaw common room, so make sure you have subscribed and hit the bell notification to watch it as soon as it gets released. If you want more Hogwarts Legacy content? Don't worry, more content this way comes. And if you have any questions about the Wizarding Wars lore, artifact discoveries, and dangerous curiosity, please leave a comment down below. You can also join the Aura Division community by following us on Instagram and Twitter. Quit being a mogul and subscribe down below and stupefy the bell notification button to alert the ministry you want more content. Thank you so much for being part of the Aura Division community and until next time, mischief managed.